able to showcase these communities and thank you so much for giving us such a beautiful picture yeah. of what Auburn is yeah. but now if you live in Auburn and even if you don't you, you can learn a lot about the town's deep-rooted history with a visit to the White River Valley Museum okay so the museum is actually a partnership between the White River Valley Historical Society and the city of Auburn the goal they have is to preserve and share the story of the South King County area and you know they have a whole lot of field trips that happen that's a big part of their goal and they have some 7,000 students every year between the museum and the Mary Olson farm. I think it's so important to preserve local history. I think in this day and age we can get very caught up in big cities and what they're doing but what impacts you and your life happens on a local level and so we collect the history that happens right here and so people are able to go to and find their grandparents here and find um, their community right here. Amazing. So uh, the museum, by the way, free to go to, and it is open Wednesday through Sunday from noon to four. So an excellent way to get to know either your community or a community that is nearby where you live. And uh, if you've uh, been there before, that doesn't mean you can't go again, of course. Two to three times a year, the museum has some rotating exhibits, so it's always fun to see something new. Go again. Right now, they have the cocktail party dressing the mid-century hostess. That's being featured as their exhibit. You're seeing some video of that right now. So very cool. And it's just really been a great response to it. This one actually extended until August 13th. And the museum's sister site is the iconic Mary Olson Farm. Uh, it is a 67-acre property with a farmhouse. It has a barn, lots of restored outbuildings as well, and a salmon bearing stream that runs through the property. Now, it's restored farm. Uh, it tells the story of the Olson family who moved there in the late 1890s. It's been set to look like 1902. Mm. And much like the museum, it also hosts a variety of groups. My favorite field trip is our Sea to Stream Week that happens every year. And that's a partnership between the Environmental Science Center, Alf Seahurst, and Native educators from the Muckleshoot Indian Tribe. And we teach about stream ecology, salmon habitats, native food pathways and traditional fishing. Love for the environment starts young and there's nothing more Northwest than our salmon and protecting them and their habitats is so important. The farm is free to go to, but a $5 donation is recommended. The money goes straight back into the property for restoration and keeping it alive. Rachel says the farm tells an authentic story of what life would have been like back then. Thank <laughs> you.